the lime juice, yeah, it just brings out all the flavors. But unfortunately, we can I no like longer talk about Seltzer. But can... that's just me. But anyway, back to this match. Yep. <laughs> we got like at least two of our best players just duking it out here in uh, what, what, what part of the bracket is this actually? Uh, I feel like goodness, this is too soon. I have no clue. This is winning semis already, huh? How is it oh, winning? We're out of pools right Yeah, I'm bugging. All right. So since we're out of pools, this is to get into winner's finals. Yeah. Winner's semis right here. Jen versus the Buzz. Jen versus the Buzz. I don't know their set count, but they're both amazing players, and we're in for a, a treat of a match right here. And these are both like players that I do think they have a little bit of experience fighting each other. The Buzz absolutely has uh, the experience Whoa. fighting Paolo Tena, uh, quite, uh, quite, uh, quite a bit. And... You're just going to see both of these players like, sort of to feel each other out in the first stop and then maybe get a little bit more like aggressive with their options now. But I will say that Jen and the Buzz have in common is the way that they ledge trap is ridiculously patient. Jen just did a falling aerial, I think that was a forwarder, into an F smash. Oh. What? You got that focused uh, Street Fighter S player in him? What so. kind of a mix up? <laughs> Yeah, Jen on the come up here, like uh, potentially and m maybe eventually could be like top 16 or top 10 in the world. The way he plays, like, and the focus he brings to his matches, like he can bring, he, he can definitely be one of like my players to pick to bring it back from a three stock like situation, or, like yeah, or carrying crews or something because of how good he plays. Ah. Uh. And you have to be really, really careful about that. When Rosalina is hiding in her shield and Luma is exposed like that, you will extend your hit on her. It, it makes it even like more scary than an out of shield punish because your hit is extended and they don't have any shield stun. So they'll be able to throw out like the first option that they have. Just puts you in so much lag. No. True, true. Uh, Palatina, I, I dubbed the faster character here. Especially, she's easily able to take out a uh, Luma with the dash attacks. Yeah. And she's able to land well with the teleports in there too. So, so she can apply the pressure to Rosalina just to like make this match doable. But the Buzz gets the lingering hit off the narrative to get his follow-ups, and there is fantastic. It just like leads to so much for the Buzz. Jab, jab. It's a jab, jab, jab. Nice. nice. Uh, getting back to stage is going to be the hardest part. But oh, well, he missed. Ooh. I thought Luma was gone for a second. Yeah, I thought so too, but then I guess he's able to call him back after doing that. That's interesting. Yeah, because unless Luma's in like her tumble animation. Whoa! Ooh, that was a strong up smash, but unless Luma's in her tumble animation, you can just back and hit at any given moment. No, that was pretty good coverage by the Buzz. Like, you just wanted him like, to do like the most obvious thing you can do in that situation jump. Because you're not going to roll in there. <laughs> And I really like that throw from the buzz, actually. He was trying to set up a tech situation. I'm really surprised that the up air didn't connect. Perhaps it was a little bit too early. And Jen was able to get, like, enough of, like, the protection from the tech in place. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> the classic? The <laughs> New York in. special? New York special? Just roll in throw? Like, I love that. Not <laughs> just the roll in throw. It's the Palutena roll in throw. Oh, my God. That's it's the New York gonna special. Kill you. Like, okay. that's, that's what won Let's Make Big, big Moves. Shout out to Nairo. <laughs> like, like, it just works when it needs to work. You don't do it often. You don't, like, obviously, like, oh, I'm ledge trap. I'm going to roll in. You don't do that all the time. No, of course. You'd be like, haha. Ah, got him. <laughs> but, yeah, pretty much. Oh, yes. my God. Oh, oh, I thought he, he was had to be, get, I, I he had he, to he be through it. the air dodge, but here's the thing. Because Palutena disappears when she air dodges, Jen was actually unable to chase her drift. He guessed that he, uh, she would be... Jen guessed that the buzz was going to be drifting in towards the center. Uh, but because like the, the buzz went completely invisible, that makes it a 50-50. So like in Smash 4, especially when air dodges oh. were a lot more prevalent, characters like Mewtwo would be able just to find a lot of like mix-up potential of like, okay, I'm invisible, you can't chase me. And there it is, the buzz catching his landings off those platforms and taking game number one. It's not a bad game one for Jen. Yeah. He, he had the lead most of the time. He was, it was just like a matter of like getting his landings caught. Look at the buzz thinking. <laughs> the buzz is thinking face. He grabs his whole nose. That is the buzz thinking face. <laughs> like, 
Just grabs it. <laughs> grabs his chin. Aggressive, aggressively grabs it. <laughs> Gets rid of PS2 and Yoshi. Interesting. PS2 and Yoshi's now. Going back to Battlefield. It wasn't, it wasn't the stage. It's never the stage. <laughs> yeah, it's it's odd that everybody seems to be wanting to be going to Battlefield today. Yeah, I don't know why. It's true. Or, or just run it back in general because they honestly like don't really want to think about it too much. I mean, obviously, obviously they never want to go back to Lilat or, or go to Lilat in general. But yeah, I but guess this is it's how they feel. I think this is extremely doable for Jen. Uh, I think game one was extremely close. He was able to secure the lead really early, and he's been actually getting some really, really good leads on the buzz. Um, so right now, he just has to perpetuate his advantage state and make sure that he can like keep the buzz juggled, that he can keep him off stage, and make really sure cool. he never drops this lead. But this lead right now is insurmountably huge, 83% with only 10% cents in his name. No, I feel like a small benefit to you know being Rosalina is like how hard it is to hit you when you're so floaty whenever you have like Luma and you're off stage like that. Like Jen saw his hits there, like trying to catch her landing, but when it comes to like this spot right here, it's kinda like hit weep it. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh shoot, now I gotta go out there to hit her. <laughs> and killed. Yep. Smoked her with a quick side B. Nice. And I'm thinking, is Rosalina, does Rosalina and Luma's down B work on explosions, like explosive flame, or does it have to strictly be a projectile? I think it has to, it's it's kind of weird, because it kind of feels like a projectile, but isn't, because it's, it's an explosion, no, no, it's just an energy explosion. Um, but, so it's just like, I'm curious to see if the buzz is able to maybe like mix that up That'd be funny bit. if that it's like sucks the whole thing around. Yeah. Though. Love to see it. I know it's a very funny thing like that happens in doubles, like where Rosalina would just like absorb like a like a shot thrown at her from like Mega Man, for example. Like, yeah. Shoot me, and she like spins it around and just like kills like everybody. Oh my God, Chan was able to get the two frame down tilt into the forward into an explosive flame and almost connected an auto that go out of the explosive flame. Just so much damage from that one two frame. Caught the but, roll. Yes, with the up smash. That up smash is once again ridiculously fast. Mm -hmm. Kills pretty early too, and like it has a great hitbox on it. Definitely one of Rosalina's best moves in her kick. Now Jen's still solidly taking advantage of this, uh, this control that he's gained from the first stock. The buzz has a little bit of catching up to do. But uh, what was that? That was. That I don't was know odd. about that one. At I don't all. know what's happened there. <laughs> like. Oh my god, poor Luma just using the explosive flame just to attack her for the essence. That's what they're designed to do, take hits. <laughs> they're the human shields. Jen trying to catch a jump there. And off I'm stage surprised himself. that Jen was actually able to drop that edge code because he was in the perfect position to be able to punish it. Mm. But he was just slightly off on his timing. Yeah. So that's really unfortunate for him. So smart of him to wait a little bit before he teleported. Because I think otherwise he would have been hit by that down air. The boys gets him off stage once and now he's just toying with him. He's just like, huh. Now we're playing your game. <laughs> yep. That spike. That's wow. exactly. That spike is menacing. It's active. That down air lasts a very long time. Luma save! Jen was about to go for a follow up. Luma saves! That forward air sent Luma far but didn't kill. Oh, that one killed though. <laughs> that back there almost killed. I it's mean, wait. Oh, the, oh, oh my god, he, he almost did it again. Um, but I actually really like those like baits from those really really subtle baits from John. Like you see him jump down, jump back up, jump down, jump back up. He wants to force a low recovery from the buzz so that he might. The jab kill. Okay. Wow. That's so that he might have like enough time to maybe get like a down tilt two frame when he jumps back onto stage. But right now, 53 percent. All he needs is like one. Low percent combo and already so starting 37 percent. He's a falling forward into dash attack. That's what he's looking for. Or perhaps a nail into up air, up air. Up air. 67 percent. Get rid of the nice, nice. Put like, the pressure on the buzz. The buzz has to guess. Palutena is just like the queen of like low percent combos. Consistent, easy to extend off of platforms, easy to mix up. Um, and like Jen just rolling. like. Jen's been doing a fantastic job of just like making the most out of it. True, true. It's a matter of 
playing around Luma here and trying to get the hits on each other. Both players are doing a good job of spacing. Oh, that was almost it. The grab off the ledge. Oh, you know. And right now, this is a really, really close scramble. Oh, my there gosh. goes Rosalie. There goes Luma again. Jen was in the perfect position to punish that neutral air dodge. I think that would have been a perfect opportunity for him to be able to react and set up the F tilt. Because the F tilt, no matter which way the buzz was drifting, as the side B on the comeback of the stage. That was good on Jen. That was amazing. That was, you know, I really like that last minute mix up. Definitely not an option that the buzz was on the lookout for at all. Um, oh man, this set is. Oh. This set is very, very close, but I feel like the buzz is playing so firmly, as in the sense that you never see him, no matter his deficit, no matter the fact that he might be a stock down, you see him hold so stagnant in the way that he plays, and just to make sure that he has impeccable execution. Oh, like, Olimar pick, let's ooh. go. The buddy. Uh-oh. The big nose. And we're going to Kalos. Nice. It's a change of pace right here. So. Yep. Really nice change of pace, nice change of music. But also, Jen is sticking with the same character, but the buzz isn't. Meaning the buzz already knows like a very like strong amount of what Jen is going to do. But by playing a new character, Jen is, is now forced to adapt like suddenly in the course of one game. So an interesting game plan to note from uh, All Mars is that the, sh the cycling of the Pikmin, just to get the right ones at the start, like really fast, like the way the buzz does it, is really impressive. And the fact that he starts his routes with up smash. So that's how his game starts. It's a very fast move. Um, combos! <laughs> like, just like 60 if you like land the right Pikmin for it. Yeah. And just... At least like a good solid game plan, like right here. The buzz is at 50, Jen's at... Dead, you know? <laughs> Jen's at dead. <laughs> like, yeah. All mother has no shortage of kill power whatsoever. And honestly, you're gonna be seeing also Jen like struggle to get a lot started off of the buzz. Because being so small, like having like the hoot box that All Mother has, the only thing that Jen can really do is like I can dash attack him, I can go for something like a grab, or I can get like a falling forward out. Things like the rising nails are really, really not going to work except as an anti air or to perhaps call out a jump. And you do not see um, Olimar jumping at all. Yeah, Olimar is uh, usually don't need to jump. And he's small too, so like getting hit by Nair is like. Like a like a sort of rare occurrence, I'd say. Like, I'd say, like, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just, pretty it's just hard a little bit more difficult to, to execute. Um, so your best bet is like to pull out the shotgun and just hit him with dash attack, like, Prah. yeah. Or throw him. Whatever, whatever works. Like maybe he can like throw a side B like in, but it's like a very like slow sort of move. But the back hit is gonna finally take out the first dog. Right. So this is how this fight's gonna go out. Because of Olimar's nature of a character, he will be long range and he will be throwing like all the Pikmin in the world at at a. Uh, at Jen, throwing off his timing and getting like the percentage lead. And once he gets that percentage lead, it's like that's when he's gonna start going for the kills. And that's when that's essentially when you play the matchup against him, it's like it's rough because he takes that lead from you if you're playing that game against unless you're like you're aggressive against the character. Which you can be, but you just need like the right hitbox to like, like say like Krom and Roy, for example, they can run up in there and hit all. Palutena has to like Make sure she doesn't do the wrong move and whiff on her. Wait, I'm, was that a get up attack? Yeah. And just like reached all the way across. I'm really, really surprised that that uh, was Yeah, able I, don't, to I don't see Pelotena get up attack myself. Oh, that almost. Ooh. Oh, the and throw? Perfect positioning for it to all and being so light. light. He had 145% rage. Like, yeah, that's definitely gonna kill. But I'm also really. I really love that get up attack from Jen a little bit earlier as well. Just because he waited for the F smash to no longer be as Harry active. Very forward smash. Good job on the bus taking the stock back, too. So now this game plays out again. You know, where the bus is going to run. But he puts himself in the wrong spot because now he's in the corner against Jen. Now he's gonna get up. <laughs> yep. Jen is, of course, just like struggling to get much started, but it doesn't matter because he has stage control, but... Double up smash? Okay, 34%. For, okay, Wanda. 34%. Oh, 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 buddy. Anyhow. That was nice. So back to this game again. 
like Chen is like pressing and pressing and pressing and applying pressure, and that is so important against Olimar. You cannot play passively against oh, that character. He almost died. At ninety-two percent, no way. He would have been able to live out especially since it was so, stale. I love that move. You have to constantly apply pressure to a character like Olimar. If you give him breathing group, he's just gonna set up all the Pikmin he has the that he wants to. Optimal equipment set up. It's two purples. If he has a blue, it's over. Oh, the f get up from the note. Uh, it's a scary situation. He almost got the spike. Ah, uh, two frame. Wow. And there you go. There it is. Really good stuff. Because from the buzz missed. Oh, is this three out of five? Yes, this is all of top eight. Top eight, three out of five. five. Yes, the classic Xeno Saga. So we're gonna see another game. Yep. It's okay for DeBuzz to like take that time, you know, to analyze, you know, play around his strengths with his two characters, Ro Rosa and Olimar. Just think Isn't a little it? bit. Um, I don't know about Olimar. I think his sets with Rosalina were very, very close, but he seems to be confident in his pick. See, I still like the Olimar though because he was still playing his game. Like he got started first. It's just yeah. on the last stock. He put himself at the ledge for Jen to just like yep. start hitting on him, you know, and be like, all right, I'm taking the lead back from you. I'm taking this first. Mm -hmm. And again, like, he's able to combo two up smashes into an up and that's already fun. That's so sick. It's just like, mm, but, I 40. Mean, like, <laughs> honestly, with both of these characters, it's a given that you're going to be taking that much percent at the early. So it's like you just have to hold it at that point. Like, it's fine. Um... What I what I really like am interested to see is just like how Jen is able to keep his forward pressure like consistent and fresh. Because like this is a little bit uncharacteristic I wanna say of Jen. Like he is like consistently like able to get in onto the boss and that just says like a lot about how well he is just like adapting to his defensive habits. But in this game so far already the buzz has a sixty Oh wow, I didn't know he got grabbed by blue. That's, that's harsh. Hard to tell too, because it's like <coughs> They're always behind them, but then when he like starts Whoa. moving inwards, <laughs> the order looks like it changes. Yeah. That was really smart to go for the neutral air though, because he was expecting the hitbox extension to just like help out and perhaps snag Olimar a little bit longer. So I like the I like the thought I like the thought from uh, Jen quite a bit. Jen right now is looking to set up a dash attack into up air. You see him with a couple of those. Um, he realizes as he wants to. <laughs> he just stood right in front of the flames. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm liking the way the buzz rotates his Pikmin too, because he always like his optimal setup for Pikmin. Wow. Is like usually two purples and something that helps build up damage or throw kill. Mm -hmm. um, so he would throw like the lighter ones and then like wait a bit and keep the purple. He always keep the purple. And Jen is finally able to get a little something started, 35%. But the buzz has no jump. He needs to find a way to land. He tries to go for the aggressive landing. That's not going to work out. 68, 77%. All because the buzz initially burned his jump in the air. You have to be so, so careful when you're above Palutena. Jab, jab, Pikmin. He's rotating them. Ooh, he almost got the back hit of the neutral air, but the forward air was able to get to beat it out before the hitbox came behind him in time. Right now, Jen is struggling to get out of the corner. Oh no. Okay. This is a good setup. Just throws. Curve. Again, that get up attack range just throws me off every time I see it. I think he wants to swing at a Pikmin that he potentially thinks the buzz is throwing at him, but at the same time, like, he can do it. Like. Because the buzz is so far away from was so far away from him there that he's just like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna get away with it, you know. Yep. I'm gonna throw a hitbox out here, so if you try to run up and you know do something, you're gonna get hit. Like, and you, you can't run up shield. <laughs> and I, I really like these explosive flames from Jen because they're just like such a good call out on like, okay, you're gonna stop throwing these Pikmin right now. <laughs> and you see the buzz adapting and adjusting his positioning uh -oh. a little bit, so he is just outside or in between the different explosive. Uh, explosive flame like distances. Yeah, I'm liking the way like the buzz moves too because he would throw the Pikmin out and then run over, like just, like towards them just to like, get him back faster. I think. <laughs> yep. But at the same time, like also keep the oh, that wow. was just him building up a wall. That purple is so important. So meaty. <laughs> that that purple is massive. It's slow, but it kills you. It really makes the character. <laughs> that in blue for the throw kill. I but love yeah. thinking the buzz. <laughs> thinking the buzz is so focused. Thinking, oh, hold thinking on. the buzz is next level, bro. <laughs> 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 <sighs>
What about And then this? here comes a twist. He mm. furrows his eyebrows. Mm. <laughs> look at look at that. <laughs> look look at that pose, Yo, is bro. that blue steel? <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Like, that God. was so. Oh, dude, look at that buzz. Mm. Look at that buzz. Oh my God. New fragrance. <laughs> now, like, it's okay. Okay, game striking for ants. <laughs> 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 Pathetic fool. <laughs> <laughs> game three. Okay, that's like four, three. Game five. We're going into the wire here. Winner gets the finals and more money. This set just commentates itself at this point. Yeah, because you you know what to expect at this point. It's just like, both players know what they want. It's just a matter of, you know, yeah. getting it. So the boss was running under there. He was trying to maybe perhaps catch like a false landing from Jen. He wanted to grab. But regardless, right now he's in such a good spot. Jen is going to struggle to get back onto center stage. Now that down B, I believe he was anticipating uh, Jen to maybe throw out some kind of an option. Uh, I don't know, and he was trying to get like the iframes off of it. Yeah. Um, it's good to, to have when you're jumping with Almar because um, yeah. of the armor that it gets. You know, you get to land afterwards and be like, "All right, I just." Ooh, quit. I like the commitment from Jen though, but God, it's actually not. Block. <laughs> yeah. I like the commitment from Jen to go off stage though. It didn't work out in his favor. He just has to be a little bit more firm in his read. The buzz is like doing a great job of reacting and mixing up to it. Ah, uh, the platform just allowed him to stall a little bit and not get hit by the explosive flame. Like, wow. any resources. But the raw up smash, just gonna take it. Jen looked like he was setting up into that, because he put himself in that right position to watch what the boss is going to do out of his like defensive options there. Took advantage of that and just got, screw it. Yeah. I know what you're gonna do next. Up smash. Pretty good on him. Nice, here comes the train. He tries to mix it up with the down B, not only as like oh, a momentum fights difference. back, fights back. Oof. Yeah, and you see him go for that a lot. Um, just like try to land with downing on top of Palutena because that down is very, very disjointed. So that time it worked out for him. A really, really just like great thought from the buzz. Now, Side okay, B. that explosive flame only worked because the buzz has one Pikmin and he wanted to touch the ground as soon as possible to get another one. And Jet, knowing that, was like, yeah, he's gonna land right here and now. I'm gonna explosive flame him for it. So Jen was just doing a great job. Man. What? Oh, I didn't even know what hit him. Like, like so fast. Like yeah. when Olimar doesn't have his Pikmin active, that is like go time. Like you have to get in there. You have to keep up pressure. You have to make sure he doesn't touch the ground. Yeah, because now you're in this situation where now you gotta get up on the ledge against him. And the buzz's ledge trapping is phenomenal. Yeah. And to the other side. I really, really like that mix up. Just Slide like something to throw off Jan's rhythm. But that's yeah, not gonna take it even on Town and City. And right now, game five. Jan might be able to take it over the buzz, which is actually a very, very good win for Jan. Damn, it's like... Well, shout out to local. Giving wins to the locals. <laughs> the top players up here. He's a very generous, benevolent man. <laughs> Still strong enough to take this local, though. I like Even if he gets something to lose right here. Oh! Jan is going to be playing... Like, uh, there you go. You whiff that, you die for it. Now, and you want a platform. I can't help but think that that F-Tilt was perhaps a misspaced drop down forward out. Uh, because there really isn't that much to gain from doing an F-Tilt. Besides like you're going through killer and edge guard. Or just like a get off me option. Especially since he was on the platform above Olimar. But... Now, I just noticed like Olimar's roll option from the ledge. Like looks like, like he's squirming up there. Like, he got away pretty fast from Palutena. Run up, up smash. Into up air. 28%. The boss is slowly starting to bring this back. And you see Jen, like, wanting to end it. He is going in. Like, he's just, like... Jumps right over the grab. Oh, you're stuck. Oh, oh, what? Ooh, got the win box instead of the actual hit. Oh, my God. Perfectly that almost happened. timed neutral air dodge. Try to let you from there. Throw him with the white pick, man. Wow. Didn't go anywhere. Jen doing a good job boxing. This is an awful position for the boss right now. He is on the corner against Palutena. He and jumped he in it. air dodge in anticipation of the back end, and his only reward for that is to reset the ledge trap situation. Oh no! Uh, That's as good for the buzz again. He just needs the purple. 
Spets, bet, spets, oh my spets, god. Bet. That was bait. That was bait. The plus wanted him to have extended it. That could have been really, really bad. This but Jaina has no stage. The shield. His shield. The shield. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He would have broken the shield. I would have lost it. <laughs> All Jen needs is one good back kick. He needs one good dash Shots attack. on there. All Jen. the way to the set, because Olimar can do that. Going for two explosions. Oh my god, he goes for the long <laughs> distance. Oh ah. my god. Oh. And that's the win. Jen taking it over the buzz. Such a good win for him. And that is Zeno I, I need a drink. <laughs> I need a sip. I need a sippy. Oh my god. I, don't, I just need a sip of nothing. I need a sip of Hall's New York Celsius water. Thank you, Cheers. Hall's. Look at this. He goes all the way to the side. Has to hold these. Didn't pull any Pikmin here. And then... Yeah, I'm surprised about that. I'm not sure why he wouldn't do that. It's a free one option. It's well, safe. It's quick. And and uh, the, there it is. Yo, he cracked the shield. You see that? I have seen that before. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no. Really all my helmet cracks on strong hits. It's, it's a really funny animation. But... Uh,